Vacations to the moon, flying cars, living like the Jetsons, this future society always seems within reach. But for these biohackers, it's not coming soon enough. So they're taking matters literally into their own bodies. It's gonna fit. Outside of the conventional laboratory are radical experiments to improve life as we know it. Rich Lee is a salesman in St. George, Utah, but his true focus is looking towards the future. Rich is among a far-reaching community known as biohackers. Basically, biohacking is approaching biology with a hacker ethic. Also called grinding or transhumanism, a background in science isn't necessary. Simply a desire to go beyond what's humanly possible and to put your own body on the line. By implanting chips, magnets, among other devices, these do-it-yourself citizen scientists become superhuman. Rich can feel electricity and magnetic fields with the tip of his finger. I'll just have this on the bar top, bar top, and I'll catch somebody's eye. His ears are also wireless headphones. Pretty much any device that is uh, Bluetooth enabled, I can interface with it. Yeah, so I can listen to music off my phone, I can take phone calls. A forearm to Rich is also a thermometer. I can scan it with a, uh, a scanner and it will tell me my temperature. And a chip in the web of his hand capable of sending messages to his phone. There we go. Thank you for watching News 3. The world of biohacking exists mostly on the web, a virtual think tank where grinders connect from all over the world. Our community is pretty tight knit and um, it's grown a lot. Grindhouse Wetware is based in Pennsylvania. The biotech startup is currently in trials and will begin selling implantable devices this year. Here's Ryan O'Shea. What I'm interested in is functional implants that can track my health data that can make me, you know, a stronger, faster, better human. But these enhancements are controversial and illegal in many parts of the country, including Southern Nevada. There's a lot of legal questions that are kind of hindering our growth right now. To skirt the system, grinders go underground and find body modification artists through word of mouth. As soon as people realize that they could become a robot, it's just exploded. You know, people can link themselves up to their MacBooks and their cell phones and their houses. Undergoing elective subdermal implants. I see more and more just every average day, everyday people getting body modifications and things like that and still going to their normal jobs. In the world of biohacking, the possibilities are truly endless and the risks of self-experimentation are real. Do you ever worry about the long-term side effects of having a foreign object in your body? Oh, absolutely. In fact, uh, I check them every day. There's no such thing as a permanent object in your body. But where there exists danger, there also lies the opportunity of progress. We left the plains of Africa, we crossed the oceans, we ventured into space, and I think the next logical step is to transcend our biological limitations. The citizen scientists are driven by a curiosity to advance the human race, one biohack at a time.